Warriors rise. XRP finally making moves, Warriors, and Russian narrative is getting very thick around the SWIFT system. As we all know, as we look this way, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. And I want to start this out, first of all, by saying I love you. If nobody's told you lately, I truly love you. And I hope you accept that as a high level of frequency so we can go out as high frequency beings to work to change ourselves and in turn to change the world. If you want to join one of the best warrior academies in the world of high vibration beings working together in this quantum financial system, subconscious mind programming, goal setting, access to my portfolio, over 130 cryptocurrency uh, courses, excuse me, seven calls a week, access to my team. It's an amazing, amazing academy. So join 3twarrior.com to get your information. All right, let's kick it off, Warriors. So first of all, again, I want to say I love you. I appreciate all of you guys, and thank you for giving me that time to step away to go to Peru to become a better human being. So I'm CJV, and I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, let's kick it off, Warriors. So let's cover some news here. I know you guys are excited to hear this. Well, we're going to start out with some Russia news. Um, central banks, this narrative I told you guys for a very long time, that the banking system is going to switch by 2025. That's really important to understand where is and pull my mic a little closer here. So by 2025, your financial system is going to completely shift. Okay. Now the whole narrative is the SWIFT system, the old archaic banking system moving from web 2.0 to web 3.0. Remember those who own the land were the richest people in the world. Then those who own the industrial that was built on the land are the richest people in the world. And now the people who own the data and the movement of money at the speed of light, distributed ledger technology are going to be some of the richest people in the world. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's a cycle that we go through as human beings. I highly recommend you study Ray Dalio. We're in the third cycle of a societal change, which is war. Now, this war narrative, and it's so unfortunate because innocent human beings are killed for people's e egotistical, um, what would you call it? Their, their egotistical uh, acts in order to maintain control okay so all we can do as human beings is do the best we can to raise our vibration as high as possible and to become the change okay so russia central bank's chief says alternative swiss system is already in place i told you guys warriors this is all a narrative russia central bank chief says russia will fulfill their obligations on the spfs system russia central bank governor has said that its global payment will continue to function despite the SWIFT ban. The central bank chief, Russia, SPF, an internally developed payment system will replace SWIFT. Think about that. Russia, there's an ISO 20022 talking about it in 2015. There will be a new messaging system. It'll be run by distributed ledger technology. I don't know what it's going to be run off of. I don't know if they're going to create their own system, but I'll tell you what, Warriors, your financial system is going to shift as you know it. Meanwhile, reports say Russia government is working on a one world digital currency for global trade. This is the narrative, the one world economy war. We know the World Economic Forum was created in 1971. January, we detached from the gold standard in August 1971, making us a debt-based society. And they trapped you, human beings, into a debt trap. You can't get out of it unless they switch the monetary system to include the governments. The monetary system has to change, warriors. You can't keep printing money into oblivion. You can't raise the debt ceiling over and over again. At some point, the Ponzi scheme has to collapse. So what they're doing, it's already set up, Warriors. They've already moved into the new monetary system. They are shifting us over through narratives. As you look this way at a pandemic, there's a whole other narrative going on this way. Boom! Now you're switching to the war narrative, and I guarantee you the pandemic narrative is going to start to dissipate, Warriors. That's very important to understand. Follow what I'm saying. It's going to start to dissipate. You're going to see less and less of that. It's going to be the war narrative now, and the C-word narrative is going to start to go away. Okay, so let's jump into what one of your favorite things out here, XRP, okay? 
a lot of things are starting to move pretty fast with XRP. So James Fallon posted this, said Brad Garlinghouse files response to the SEC opposition to Mr. Garlinghouse motion to seek the disclosure of notes from November 9th, 2018, meeting with former SEC commissioner Rosman and Mr. Garlinghouse, the Eastbrook notes. Okay. Now I love James Hogan or Jeremy Hogan, excuse me, Jeremy Hogan. He takes it one step further and builds out this narrative here for us. So this is 13 hours ago. He said, yes, a uh, one-hour settlement discussion happened a couple months ago. It didn't settle, which means the next most likely settlement time would be at mediation, so which will be hosted by one, one and only Judge Netburn, who has seen all the documents in the camera, right? So now we're moving into uh, mediation, which is awesome, words. We're starting to get some movement. Let's take a step back at the motion and think like a trial lawyer, he says. At trial, Garlinghouse testified about meeting with Roseman, if I'm saying that correct. There's absolutely no indication that Roseman or Eastbrook are disputing what was said. Otherwise, the SEC would gladly produce the notes, okay? Roseman or Eastbrook, go turncoat. They could testify that Garlinghouse lied about his testimony and then what happens? That's right. Ripple gets to impeach the heck out of them with the Eastbrook notes, which uh, which lost DPP privileges the moment they talked about the meeting, which means the SEC has no evidence at all about meeting, but can only argue that Garlinghouse testimony is self-serving. All testimonies is self-serving. That's two, he says two times weak sauce. I love this dude. Uh, but what I mean to say is whatever the judge rules, the SEC is already dead here. Now, at the same time, Warriors, at the same time, check this out. So 120 million XRP moved as Ripple lawsuit expert discovery wraps up. Large crypto transactions of over 120 million tokens have been wired across three major crypto exchanges. XRP price noted minor, minor recovery at uh, press time. With the Ripple lawsuit, expert discovery coming to an end, XRP holders are expecting a positive outcome. Then David Schwartz loves to mess with us and loves to have fun with us. Uh, David Schwartz, yes, um, <laughs> at Joel Katz on Twitter. He says, when should I flip the switch? What the hell is he talking about? I freaking love it, man. February 29th, February 30th, or February 31st. And, and what does that mean, right? He posted this yesterday, which was, let's take a look at the calendar here. This guy is freaking hilarious, man. Uh, he did this on, what was it, yesterday? So it was, it was the 28th, right? So he's, does this mean 2020, 2023, 20, like, what does this mean? I love this stuff, man. So it's interesting. So I love what Bearable Bull put. He put, I voted for the 29th. So that's, it's actually possible in 2024. So Joe Katz is messing with us here. And then as all this Narrative is going on with the Ripple XRP SEC case. Massive things are happening with Ripple. Now, you remember back in October 21, 2021, Ripple and Tronglo, Singapore's partnership scales to new heights in Asia Pacific. So remember, Warriors, the narrative is that XRP is a security, right? In all, in other countries, in hundreds of institutions, it's being used as a currency. America is the only one causing this storm that it is a security okay today we are excited to share this is old news share the milestone in our partnership with tronglo following our intent is acquiring 40 percent stake in asia's leading let me repeat that 40 percent stake in asia's leading cross-border payment specialist in march 21 to scale the footprint of RippleNet. Ripple's global financial network in the region and beyond. The partnership has demonstrated significant momentum within the six months. Now, check this out. This was just announced yesterday on Tronglo's uh, Twitter account. Okay, We are thrilled to announce that today we have enabled at Ripple's on-demand liquidity across all our payment corridors. Let me repeat that. We are thrilled to announce that today we have enabled Ripple's on-demand liquidity across all our payment corridors. This comes after a successful pilot of ODL, okay, deployment in September, which saw 250K transactions worth of USD, 48 million processed in 100 days. So let's dive a little bit deeper here. Trongos enables Ripple's on-demand liquidity services across its 25 payment corridors. Okay, March 1st, 2021, Trongo has enabled, okay, so this is, uh, is this old news here? Nope, this is March, yeah, March 1st, 2022. 
Um, so it said on March 1st, 2021, Tronglo has enabled Ripple's on-demand liquidity services for all its payment corridors, allowing remittance providers to process instant cross-border payments without costly pre-funding. I wonder if they got the date wrong here. Because if you click on this here, I'm just taking a look. We're going through this together. So this was announced yesterday, February 28th, 2022. And then when I click on this, let's see here. There we go. Yeah. So it says March 1st, 2022. So yeah, this is big news. Big, 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 big news words. Now, who is Tronglo, right? They're massive. Alipay. Look at all these partners here, Wars. 1,300 banks, over 100 countries. And if you read this back here, intent is to acquire 40% stake in Asia's leading cross border payments. Man, this is getting exciting words. There's so much amazing news happening in the crypto space. How I want to end this video today is to talk to you about your feelings and vibrations within this volatile market. What I want you to do is really take a 30,000 foot view and pull yourself into a macro look at the economy, a macro look at human history. And look back like Ray Dalio over 500 years. What is happening is nothing new under the sun. Now, where did I get that from? That's from biblical terms, right? If you follow me, you know, I believe in God. I love the life of Jesus. I'm non-religious. I love you, whoever you are. But hear me out on this. One of the best ways to get through times like this to pull yourself back and look at the charts from a macro perspective. What you see is this, okay? New highs, higher lows. New highs, higher lows. And that happens in your life as well, Warriors. The key to this is understanding to get yourself out of the micro and looking at the macro big picture of where we're heading. Okay. In the 1900s, we headed into a progressive area. Our lives changed as we know it, our financial system, our education system, and our medical system. And we are the product of that. We all decided to live in this monetary system. We are all responsible for this because we decided to be indoctrinated into the system. And the reason why I say that is because the only way this is going to change if enough people waken up that they have the power inside of them to create change. But what happens is everything is leveled off by frequency, okay? 16 years ago, I attempted suicide. I was an opiate addict. I was in crack houses buying opiates. But now 16 years later, I was sitting in Peru in what I thought was heaven on earth. So what changed? The frequency, the people I was around who are frequency, the things that I was ingesting, which are frequency, the things that I was watching, which are frequency, the things that I was hearing, which are frequency in the radio waves, and 16 years of practice and consistency, just like the Grand Canyon. How did the Grand, was the Grand Canyon created? Water went over the Grand Canyon rocks for a long period of time in a certain direction, which created the Grand Canyon. But if you look at the Grand Canyon from a macro view, you're going to see a snake going back and forth. So sometimes the Grand Canyon water would hit a rock and it would change ways a little bit. And it would change ways. And so that's why God says, have faith. That's why Jesus say, your faith has healed you. Because if you have faith every single day and you have great intentions and you're not focused on trying to gain anything from this world, but in turn, just being a good person, you are going to do awesome in these markets, warriors. But if you're emotionally attached and have identity to the market, that you are, are a crypto investor. No, you are you you are manifesting crypto investing within the physical world. And if you're emotionally attached to the market, if you're attached to an identity in a relationship, or you are attached to your identity of a job, or attached to the identity of a car, or attached to the identity of a house, you will always be disappointed. The reason why is because you're attached to something physical within the world. And when that thing doesn't meet your expectations, you'll end up depressed and sad. The key is where is not to have expectations, but in turn have intentions. And if your intentions are to be a loving human being every single day, it doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter who, who you were born to. If you have intentions to be a loving human being and you have faith that things are going to work out, you're going to do a okay warriors. So I want to make sure that we're here to support you. And I'm very, very proud of our warrior Academy. We created it. We created it for like-minded individuals like you and I to come together as an ecosystem, to rise up, to become better versions of ourselves. I always say, don't trust a word I say. In turn, trust the feeling and vibration that it creates in your body and act accordingly. I'm not asking people to follow what I do. What I'm asking people is to find out who they are. And maybe I can inspire somebody because I became who I'm truly meant to be. I'm not Coach JV. I'm not John Vasquez. I'm not 
CJV. I am me. And what you're seeing is the manifestation of the work that I put in to become a high level vibrational being on earth. And it doesn't mean I'm good or bad and I still have bad experiences. But what I won't do is I will be uncompromising in these things. Honesty, integrity, and uncompromising for my love of God and human beings. So that's who I am, warriors. And I really, really, really appreciate you. And so I know before I was saying, don't like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and comment. That's a high vibration way to show that you appreciate this content. So I'm kind of changing my ways on that. I've learned a lot in Peru. So I'm going to ask for a favor that you like, subscribe and comment. That you hit the like button showing a high vibrational act so we can work together as human beings to raise our vibration as high as humanly possible. So we got a lot of work to do, warriors. We all got a lot to work to do. What I promise you, though, is I can promise you as a whatever this is called, a creator, that I will constantly work on myself. I'm not going to worry about what you're doing or what my business partners are doing or what my friends are doing. Or my family. I'm going to work on myself to become the highest level vibration of being on earth and let everything fall into place. So I hope that we can continue to be friends. I hope that we can stay connected and we can meet each other's vibration and we can change this world one person at a time. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. Love you guys. <laughs>